I'm not even jittering. First time I took this pill, I, I didn't know it was good. I felt, it just felt good. Clear-headed. I felt focused. There was like a drive inside of me all of a sudden. I was just excited. I was like, is this for real? You definitely know that the other day not only gives me energy, not only gives me the vitamins I need for my body, but it helps me with my mood. And you know what? It makes my husband happy. George's Power Pack. Order now and receive free gift Be Slim. Refreshing weight loss tablet. Accelerate, elevate, and be slim. Order now at healthylooking.com or 800-394-9930. Don't forget promo code George for free shipping. That's 800-394-9930 for healthylooking.com. Big Tech is under fire with the Supreme Court now. They're supposed to be neutral, but now a new book by Congressman Ken Buck blows the lid off their censorship. It's called Crushed, Big Tech's War on Free Speech. In Crushed, Congressman Buck shows how they suppress the truth on various issues. Crushed shows how they use monopolies to divert consumers. Big Tech controls the information flow, but they also ignore your right to free speech. If you're tired of the bias, simply fight back. First, you can get Ken Buck's book, Crushed, and all this week, watch Rob Schmidt's show on Newsmax. Every night, Rob talks to Ken Buck about Crushed and its revelations, and find out how you can do this to protect yourself. Watch Rob Schmidt tonight on Newsmax. Also, don't forget their website, Newsmax.com. Newsmax is great to watch. Give it a try. If for some reason your cable operator doesn't carry Newsmax, give them a call and demand it. Newsmax TV and watch with Rush. Tired of overpaying for your cell phone bill? Switch to Consumer Cellular and save up to half on your wireless plan. Their award-winning 100% U.S.-based customer support team makes switching easy. Plus, you can keep your phone in number with no contract or activation fees. They offer unlimited talk and text with a flexible data plan starting at just $20 a month. You can easily add your family and friends to your plan for just $15 a month per line. Never worry about dropped calls. Consumer Cellular has the exact same coverage as the major carriers to over 99% of the nation. This is all backed by their 100% risk-free guarantee. Doing the millions of others to a switch. Go to ConsumerCellular.com by Radio 25.
because it only tells you one vector. It doesn't tell you how far away it is. It doesn't tell you how fast it's moving. It only tells you the direction in which it's going. And so here in the United States, in Canada, basically in this part of the world, it, it just looks like the point is pretty much in the same position, but it's actually moving quite a bit. West of the Rockies, Jesse's with us in Durango, Colorado. Hey, Jesse, go ahead. Hi. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, regarding the shift and stuff in which we're talking about, I worked on projects, uh, both military and uh, contracts, that um, back in 47, there was a naval project that was working on a call shift, and it was at that point in time maybe moving a an inch or two a year. They figured by the time everything was said and done, new um, uh, the cargo was going to be Alaska and Russia. And it's been under uh, getting so getting worse by the, by the year. Now that the we're set up with the North Pole now over the Four Corners area. Polaris, Big Dipper, Cassiopeia, they haven't ever come out of the... Uh, when I'm flown up up in Canada, they, they haven't ever come out of Northern Canada. You're following that, Ben? Yeah, yeah, I am following that a bit. Um, the changes in the magnetic field and the changes in the actual orientation of Earth. This is one of the more controversial uh, topics, but it's also one of the, the more important ones. One of the hardest things for people to understand and the hardest thing for people to hear is when this thing gets to completion, the equator is not going to be where it is now. In fact, virtually nowhere on Earth will be where it is now. Um, I'm not necessarily familiar with the project she was describing in the 40s, but there's another project that was going on in the 40s called Project Nanook in the Arctic, led by Major Maynard E. White. And thankfully for all of us, he did something that was a little bit illegal. He kept some of the documents that were supposed to be classified. Another one, huh? Yeah, and not only from his expedition, but from the Pentagon meetings and the meetings with the Rand Corporation where they were actually doing models of this. And the scariest short version of this is that when they started digging down into the Arctic, they found that there were alternating layers of tropical fossils, polar fossils, tropical fossils, polar fossils, separated by only about 10 to 12,000 years each, meaning that every 10,000 to 12,000 years, that area they were studying at the Arctic was at the equator. And then it went back to being at the polar region, and then it was in the tropics near the equator, and then it went back to the polar region. And there are several other instances of this kind of evidence around the world. But essentially what it means is that because those times line up with the times in history when Earth's magnetic field changed like it is beginning to change now, it really implies that something as that or even worse than what most people know as Earth's crust displacement theory is going to be displaced very, very rapidly and it's going to change the face of the world as we know it. Next up, Walter's with us in Pennsylvania. Walt, go ahead. Hi, George. You're talking to Ben now. Uh, he said he's only 38 years old. He's like talking to our, our son, uh, George. He was only born in 1984. I think I have shoes older than he is. <laughs> <laughs> and you still wear them all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, George, you know, I would say to Ben, you know, perhaps what we need is uh, a neutralization of the global power and communications 
do know is that there is something changing in our planet, and it is shooting from the core all the way out to the surface here and the top of the atmosphere. And we know from the evidence that this has happened before, and we know that the results are pretty devastating here on for, for the living creatures on the planet and so a lot of those questions are fantastic questions they come from a really intelligent place but again we know more about the surface of mars than we do about the bottom of the ocean we know even less about what's going on at the core we we do a lot of guessing as scientists what we do know is that the evidence we have here today suggests that what's happening today has happened before happen very often when it does it's absolutely catastrophic for the surface where we live where the animals live and that might be as much as we know this cycle before we have to try it all again Tom in Petaluna, California Tom, thanks for having me I'll thank you for taking my call good to hear your show um, I posted it on your Twitter feed uh, for the news tonight the Union Concerned Scientists just published a blog for the power grid. What are you doing? I thought you might have an interest in that. Well, I will do that. I'll look that up. Okay. There's two other things. Oh, no, I was wondering, how could you tell the difference between uh, natural occurrences based from the sun or the spinning of the, the center of the earth or what? That's just one question. The other one was on the morality question, the ethics in our country. As you know, we're from the, the mayor. East Palestine, Ohio, and having a problem there with uh, Donald Floyd, and it seems to have some of the, uh, the, 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 the,